So what you're looking at here is four lights that came on my dashboard on my 2012 Ford F-150, my ABS, brake light, um, <coughs> excuse me, and then I got my traction control light on over there and also got the service um, advanced track system warning on. So if you have this combination of lights, most likely you have a bad speed sensor and the only way to troubleshoot the speed sensor is by getting your ODB sensor module like this. This is a Nova 3040. And then we're going to go down to ABS. Get okay, focused here. So this particular uh, unit can not only troubleshoot engine codes, but also has the ability to troubleshoot your ABS brake system. So let's go ahead and select that. Okay, so there you go. So I found that the left front wheel speed sensor input signal fault is the code C1296. Um, so, so if you watch a few of my other videos, I've always put in there the cost of repair if it's done by the dealer. Well, this is no exception because I always want to know what does it cost for the dealer to do this or a shop to do this versus me doing it. Um, if I'm going to save more than $100, I'm going to do it myself, but if it's in within the $100 range, um, I will just let the dealer do it because I don't want to get dirty. I'd rather spend more time with the family and doing things that I want to do. So what I want you guys to do is uh, check out this little, you know, hidden camera kind of a scenario. I thought, let's just, this would be kind of fun. So I went to the Ford dealership, um, the same dealership that I go to all the time for other little things like oil changes. Um, and I have uh, had other big jobs done by the dealer, so I like this place, but I was curious to see what they would charge to replace the, um, the speed sensor on my F-150. So this is what they told me. Check it out. I'm pretty sure speed sensor issue. What do you guys yeah. charge for that? Diagnosing is going to be $167. Okay. Um, if it's just one side, mm -hmm. Just the set, you know, the ring itself or the sensor, mm -hmm. the sensor itself, looking about $330. For the part and the labor, or just the part? For the part and the labor. Okay. It doesn't include diagnosis. That's okay. just saying, like, that's just you saying, hey, replace that right front sensor. Okay, gotcha. But, uh, we gotta, we gotta, we're gonna have to test each one, see if it's a sensor, and okay. how the other ones are looking as well. This is just one sensor, uh -huh. straight, straight time. So if you didn't hear all that, it was basically $500. It was a uh, $130 for diagnostic, excuse me, uh, $170 for diagnostic, um, and then $340 to put that sensor in. And the part only cost me $112 and change. So that's more than $100 savings, um, and that's why I do these little jobs myself. It's very simple, and there's no reason why you guys can't do this. We'll few simple common tools so with that being said let's dive in and get dirty okay so one of the first things we got to do is get the truck up um, up off the ground and put a jack underneath that for safety we're gonna remove the wheel remove the brakes and get into the um, the ABS sensor behind the wheel hub there okay wow bummer it's raining right now Jack looks good. Let's go ahead and let it down a little bit so it's touching the jack. Oop, there we go. And then go up just a little bit. Double check. Okay. So now that we've got the jack in place uh, for safety, let's go ahead and tear this bad boy and see what's going on. So basically, if you guys watch my prior video on how to replace the brake pads, it's just going to be the exact same process of tearing off the calipers. We're gonna now we're gonna take off the rotors um, to get to the ABS sensor area. So here we go. And then I got 
They're two big um, 21 millimeter bolts back here that's connected to the caliper. I need to remove to get the caliper off the hub. Like so. And then this whole thing should come right off. Just like that. Set that aside. And now. Let me grab a hammer. All right, let's get a little bit of a PB blaster on this thing. I'm surprised they allow this to be sold here in California, but this thing is a miracle chemical. You just spray around the area that's rusty and just let it work for a little bit. Try not to breathe that shit. It'll for sure give you cancer, no doubt. Careful not to bang your finger. Oh, man. Okay, we'll just let that PBR just kind of uh, sit there for a while. Okay. So finally, that was a pain in the butt. You can see where it was just corroded right around this, this ridge here, um, bonded with the rotor. So wow, that was ridiculous. So I will go ahead and remove this and I will spray and clean it when I come back. <clears throat> so now I can see the ABS sensor. Now they got the rotors off. Let me clean my hands here. So I can show you guys what I'm looking at. So if you can see right there, that is the ABS sensor that goes down into, I'm sorry, the wheel hub, and that's the little sensor. So let's go ahead and pull that out. Okay, so let me go and remove the shield right here so it's not in my way. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So this rock shield has just an eight millimeter socket. Okay. And I just want to be careful of this caliper here. That I'm not kinking up the brake line. So we'll get that out of the way. Now we can access the ABS sensor there and the whole line and without fighting anything. We'll grab an extension, a little three inch extension on that. Okay. Oh, wow. So I don't know what was going on here. So this is the, the state of my sensor. It looks extremely dirty. Okay, well, let's go ahead and replace the sensor. Um, okay, so now that 
Now that we've got the sensor out of there, all we gotta do is chase this line back up to wherever it goes up in, under the hood and we'll replace it with a new part. And these are all just simply eight millimeter. So I'm gonna pause the video while I go under the hood and see where this line goes to. Okay, so real quick, um, I've disconnected all the clips down below under the wheel well, and I wanna show you where this ABS sensor uh, connects to. So you right, basically it's right below this brake reservoir, uh, right below the master cylinder there and it's this one right sorry so there's the big harness here there's a medium harness and the uh, ABS sensors it's right below that let me see if I can get you a good picture here pull this back it's kind of dark down there there it is right there come on focus there it is so it connects to right there that's where you got to unplug the ABS uh, sensor cable, okay? So I can't do that and hold the camera at the same time, so I'm going to disconnect that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the new sensor. Now that I've got the sensor out of uh, the firewall and under the wheel well, I'm going to go ahead and route the new sensor and get that connected. Now, it's going to be difficult to show you guys. Um, how I'm going to route this from the under the hood down to here. I just can't hold the camera um, and show you guys, give you guys a good enough angle. But uh, you know, you just gotta basically snake it through and it's pretty straightforward, self-explanatory. Okay, so stay tuned. I'm gonna route it through and I'll come back with the video once I get to this part right here and then we'll just reassemble everything. So stay tuned. Okay, so I've got the wire sensor um, snake down through the wheel well area. If you forgot how this thing came apart, um, it's really important just to remember to, when you feed it back down, to keep the cable away from moving parts. So this grease here, or whatever this material is, it says to put it around the O-ring um, on the sensor. And I bet that's what I saw earlier when I pulled it out, it was very dirty, brown, greasy looking. So that explains it. <clears throat> and then once I'm done, it says to torque it down to 13 foot pounds. Okay, that's easy enough. Applying a little, little bit, it looks like caramel or peanut butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this around the O-ring here. It has to go under the brake here. Okay. Move out of the way. Get your torque wrench. <clears throat> Get it down to 13 foot pounds. So, so that's 10, 13, I think that's about it. Okay. Okay, so we're looking pretty good now. I think I'm going to go ahead and clean up the rotors and uh, the calipers just to get some of the surface rust off. That's it's been raining all day, and a little water got splashed onto the steel. So let me clean clean that up, and I'll be right back. Wow, look at this. Um, it's got so dirty from a little bit of rain, and my greasy hands been all over this trying to get it off. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a 
brake fluid or brake cleaner. Get the surface stuff off. Get the grease off. You definitely don't want grease on your rotor. Okay, let's go ahead and clean up the, the hub. Hubba, hubba, hubba. Okay, so basically at this point, I'm just putting the rotors and the brake pads back on. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's just reverse the order of what we did earlier. The important thing is we got the ABS sensor back on. So once I get the brake and the wheels back on, we'll go back into the truck, turn on the key, and make sure all the lights go out. We'll take a test drive. We'll plug in the code reader um, and clear the code and go from there. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is the moment of truth here. Let's go ahead and turn the key over. And nope, so all those lights went out. Awesome. We turn it on. Yay! No more lights on the dashboard. Now let's um, double check the computer. So let's run another diagnostics. Go down to ABS. Excuse me. Hmm. New vehicle Ford. Oh yeah, that's my VIN number. 1288. Yes. Okay. So I know that we just um, fixed this. So I think what we need to do now is clear the code. So um, erase ABS DTC code, continue, yes. Erase successful, okay. So let's go ahead and run that one more time. See? No ABS codes. Awesome. Let's just run that one more time. Whoops. Perfect. So the code's clear. And let's go ahead and fire up. Okay, there we go. 